Good morning. Um, welcome to this beautiful Sunday morning. I hope it is beautiful. It's beautiful the day before as I record this. Um, this morning we're going to be going through Psalm 13. Um, so let's just get into it real quick. I'm going to read it and then we'll and then we'll talk about it a little bit. How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I bear pain in my soul and have sorrow in my heart all day long? How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Consider and answer me, O Lord my God. Give light to my eyes, or I will sleep the sleep of death, and my enemy will say I have prevailed. My foes will rejoice, because I am shaken. But I trusted in your steadfast love. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord, because he has dealt bountiful in me. Whew. So a little background on this. Um... I mean, it's pretty short and to the point, right? Uh, there tends to be two suggestions of the historical background of this. So, um, one, David was fleeing from, um, fleeing for his life. He was running away to save his life. He was running from Saul, uh, who's the king who came before him. Or, um, some historian theologians believe that he was running for his life from his son Absalom. Um, who was like his rebellious son who wanted the throne. He wanted to steal the, the throne from him. So last week we went over Psalm 8, which we called a Psalm of Orientation. Um, in Psalm 8 we talked about uh, finding our place relative to God, orientating ourselves to God. And he talk, David talked about be, we're higher than the beasts of the, in the earth uh, and all the fish in the sea, and we are, um, we're not divine, but we're right under the divine. Uh, and in this one, it seems to be a little bit of disorientation of um, what in the world is happening. What um, God, show yourself. Um, and I think it gives us a good guide um, of how to stay connected to God, even when it feels like life is falling apart. It might, um, in these weird times that we're going through, it might feel like your life is falling apart. Um, so I think if we go through this, it, it helps. In the midst of crisis, um, we can bring our honest complaint to God in verses in the first couple of verses. Um, how long must I bear this pain in my soul and have sorrow in my heart all day long? Um, you can also bring it, also then goes from that, a complaint to a request. Consider and answer me, O God. Give light to my eyes and I will sleep the sleep of death, or I will sleep the sleep of death my enemy. Um, shall prevail, but then it transitions from complaint to request and transitions to finding worship in God through these hard times. Um, let me read verses 5 and 6 real quick uh, as we end this. But I trusted in your steadfast love. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord because he has dealt bountiful in me. So this kind of gives us a, a stepping stone of um, if we're feeling like we're in crisis, we feel like everything's falling apart, we feel really disoriented in where we are relative to God. It can give us a stepping stone of um, bringing an honest complaint, asking God to, um, pleading with God, asking God to request, to rescue you from this, but then also worshiping God through these hard times. So attached to this video is a couple questions that I would love for you guys to go over with um, your parents or someone in your life that you trust and will have honest discussion with. Thanks guys, have a great Sunday.